Zeg. I know, I know. You can't take enough love in you. What's up, Dick? I mean, Doc? Uh, there you are. I hear you now. There it is. The volume. I, it was asking me about the volumes, so. Hey, buddy. Uh, I had to look at that, too. Wait, wait. Before you say anything, you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It's kind of hard to tell on the white couch until you get to the face. You see the black nose. Where's Bindi? Uh, I'll, I'll go get her. Okay, I'll go get go her. Away. I'm not going anywhere. I have nothing else to do. The thing is, is oh, are you fucking kidding me right now? She's her mom's dog. She's not. I'm. I'm like about her fourth favorite person. That's oh why really? She, no, it's true. Second. It's not the second. Well, third. But that's why she's not on the couch with me. She won't sit on the couch with me. It's always well, mommy. She's, Betty is totally Daisy's dog, but in this particular time. Wait. Hello, handsome. Cheers. Hi, beautiful. Cheers. How are you, dear? Good. Good. You guys enjoy yourselves. How are you? Thank oh, she's you. come to steal Bindi away. Oh, good. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, I'm taking my dog back. Aww. I know she reminds you of Radar, so I just She does. Because that. That, that's how it all started. You guys came to the house. Yeah. Years ago, when we had radar, and and yeah. you guys, well, especially Rick, fell in love with radar. I I hung with radar big you time. Out, you made out with radar like full on. I think that. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Sorry. Yes. Well, here's the thing. This is totally Betty was totally Daisy's dog until mm -hmm. this self isolation, and when I do these chats, she comes over and she's just been like. And now, it's a camera hog. A camera hog, but also now, like all the time, she just cuddles up in my lap and she just wants daddy, 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 daddy. So, so Daisy's now like, yeah, well, let your fucking daddy feed you. Let your fucking daddy walk you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, scratch my belly. Yeah. Hi, honey. How are you? So Beth. have fun. Hey, I'm going to put you in uh, gallery mode now. The what? I'm putting you in gallery mode so that we're side by side. What does that mean? Just means that we're, you'll see, you'll, now you're on one side and I'm on the other, so we're, it's good. I can only ever, all I can see is my reflection in my glasses. How come you can do it without, you, don't you see the TV, the screen reflected in my eyes, right? You're so fucked up, aren't you? Uh, you can't see that? <laughs> no, right now, here's what I see. Hold on, let's see if I can show you. I'll take a picture. Uh -oh. oh, look out. Bet's up, bet, bet's up and moving. This is what I see right now. That's how it's going to go. Uh, oh, OK. Um, so you're is, oh, here. that's how it goes side by side. Yeah. Like we are yeah. on stage when we do shows together. <laughs> we never face each other like this. No. This is nice, though. Um, you know what? I got I to gotta tell you, Beth's looking a little bored. What's that? She's looking a little bored. But that's just her, that's her default look. Default to board, oh honey. I, th I think she likes. Uh, I think she likes attention. She doesn't. She doesn't kiss though. Watch. You kiss. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna do it. You kiss. Nope. You kiss. Down the you kiss. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, how are you, Dicky? How you doing? What's that? How you guys holding up? Oh, good. Yeah, oh, great. We're taking a lot of walks and, you know, doing stupid videos for the internet. Right? That's kind of what we're um, doing. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we, had a, we actually had a virtual happy hour uh, two nights ago with a van on, on Zoom. Nice. That's how, I, that's how I learned how to work it. Yeah. And there's like, you know, the whole band is there and everyone's like, Having a drink and just having a great time. I was I was really thinking like this is this is gonna be a bit weird, but it actually turned into like a real you know camaraderie thing. You could really feel it. We're way more social 
the last couple of weeks on Zoom than we are in real life. I know, dude, I should have bought Zoom stock or something, shouldn't I? I didn't see that one coming. No, no. Everybody's on it now. Are you, um, so far, because today would be three weeks that we've been really, really isolated. I, I think yeah. three weeks ago today that we went to the store together the last time to stock up and I ran into your gorgeous wife. Yeah. Coming out of Ralph's and um, but we've been, uh, we've been obviously fine. We're like, we, I'm just so heartbroken about so many other people and what they're going through, but I'm- I know, it's wild to hear about also, the you kind of have people you know. Yeah. But I'm also not going as stir crazy about not playing so far than I thought I might be. How about you? Yeah, I, I love it. I may never tour again. <laughs> Do this. We also might not have a, we might not have a choice. <laughs> we definitely don't right now, baby. I tell you, it's uh, pretty freaky. Yeah, we, I mean, everything's been, you know, pushed, keeps getting pushed further and further back. We are going to do the gigs, but um, that's, what, that's why we got together with the band actually the other night was kind of, because we have a great, I have a great relationship with my band and, and to, you know, everyone wanted to hook up again. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been in touch with my guys too. And, and you know, Sam, who you know, that tours with me all the time. Yeah, he, he, talk every he day. I don't know where you found him, but he was a fine and a half. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I'm gonna have to edit this bit out now because I can't let him see that or he's gonna run away. <laughs> he'll ask. He'll ask for more money. Yeah, that's. Good. Um, um, how how are you choosing what you put out there? Like for instance, once a week, every Friday now. So uh, Friday, this last Friday, I did the, the second installment of the thing I'm calling Beachin' because we're at the beach, mm -hmm. and I do like a little mini. Three so I do three songs, requests or whatever I want to play, and then I'm doing these chats. But I'm curious, what are you other than your videos about teaching people to play Jesse's Girl are so fucking hilarious. Um. I gotta admit, I stole the idea. I gotta give Vance credit. Vance DeGeneres, uh, uh, I saw him do his thing, so I said, hey, I could do something like that. But I didn't think the I didn't think the fan, you know. There would, there would be no cross point in that, but apparently there are. Very <laughs> funny. Um, but how are you choosing what to put out there? Oh, well, the main criteria is uh, I get really high and um, <laughs> think of the stupidest thing I can do and so go to the studio and do it. It's just like an average Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I mean, uh, we're, we're actually going to. Um, uh, I've been, I was just starting to do these kind of parody videos on some of the hits, you know, pertaining to what, what, uh, what's going on. I think the first one's already online now. It's a parody on human touch. <laughs> and you gave me, wait, well. I haven't done this. I haven't done this yet, but you inspired me. As soon as I saw that video, I, I went over to Daisy and I went, now and forever. Wash your fucking hands. So that might be mine. That might be my answer to your uh, human. I, I think I think you need to do something like that. I've already. I we've done like three of them, and I'm I'm like losing my mind. And I got oh, I can actually you know do something here. But yeah. the thing is really is is you know like we all the, the whole point of it is uh, you know to connect and and you know, take care of everybody out there uh, the best way you can. Yeah. And, you, know, you know, the ones who know us, fans and that kind of thing, uh, yeah. the ones that tune into this, that's, you know, I mean, you, you're connecting with them in really the best way you can other than going out and playing a show. I have some friends um, who Your are- Your friends? I do. <laughs> wow. I have some friends who are. You have so many friends. I have it's so many ridiculous. Friends, tremendous, I have a tremendous amount of friends. Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about all the friends I have. Tremendous amount of friends. Uh, I have some friends who are stand up comedians. And they are in a situation unlike us, which is we can just grab a guitar or sit at the piano and turn our phones on and play a song and put it out there. They really can't do that. They can't just do a routine for no audience because have Lovian, 
Like people laugh at other people laughing. Yeah, That's right, part right. of what stand up's all about. So totally, if you do it totally completely, I would love to see somebody try it. I think it would be amazing. Wow. Do you know anyone? I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest it. Yeah, I'm gonna I've got a couple of people that I might say, hey, just just for shits and giggles, why don't you try doing one of your killer routines with no just in your with house? No audience. And just see what happens. And, and staring at yourself at the same time in the yeah. screen. You know, that, that was that's not distracting at all. Dude, what else are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing that you wouldn't normally have time to do, or are you? Uh, kind of relaxing. I mean, I don't really relax, you know, but I am, it's kind of gotten to the point where I have no choice. <laughs> right. So, yeah, it's, it's been great for me. I'm actually working on, um, uh, like, the I think the 38th edit of, of my new book. Yeah. Uh, and so that's been great doing that here. I've had a lot of time to do that. It's very, it's weird, weirdly enough, it's actually about a plague. <laughs> No so it's kind of, you know, writing it, I mean, it's, it's been, I've written it for like, you know, it's been written for like a couple of years, but I'm just editing it. But to come to work on that, when there's something real like that going on, it's actually pretty, I it's don't inspiring. Like, cool. <laughs> it's inspiring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this will be your second novel. Yes. Nice. Long, it's, it's been a bit of a bitch wrestling, wrestling her to the mat, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. But I love that, you know, it's like if you have a problem with a song, if you like the song, you don't give up on it, you know, you, I mean, I've, there's been songs that I've written over like a period of three months, you know, just trying to, you know, hook it all together. Or longer. One of my favorite things as a songwriter, and this has happened to me maybe, I'd say three or four times, maybe you as well, where I'll be wrestling with a song for a while. And I'll just be like, the, chor the chorus is just like, the verse is so good and the, and the pre-chorus is so good, but the chorus is not, it's not that the, cor the chorus maybe isn't good. It's just not, it doesn't fit the song like I want it to. Yeah. And then I'll remember some other piece of music, like a chorus that I have for something else. And I'll just kind of slap it in there. And it's like, oh my God. Uh, that's, that's the coolest thing when, right? when that happened. That actually happened with Jesse's Girl. I had written, two parts of two separate songs. And at one point they were in the same key and basically the same thing. And I went, hey, it works. You know, so you take pieces and put them all together. How did Jesse's Girl start? I've never asked you this in all the years. We've been friends for almost 40 years and I've never asked you how did, what was the first, what was the absolute first piece of inspiration that began that was the, the, the embryo of Jesse's Girl? Well, lost, obviously. <laughs> I mean, creatively speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it was you a, to bang uh, this guy's girl. I just, what's okay. that? I know you wanted to bang this guy's girl, but other than that. Yeah, right. I wouldn't use that term. I think that's a very crude term. Fuck is the correct term. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I defer uh, you, Master. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, oh, my son just walked in the room. Thanks. Uh, um, so uh, what was the question? I don't know. Who are you? Yeah, and you are? Do I know you? How'd you get this number? Here what, it is. What was the first creative oh, the first. craft, in terms of craft, lyrics, music, what was the very first germ of the idea that became Jesse's Girl? Well, just picking up my, um, my Gibson SG that I still have that I bought when I was 21 years old, my first really good guitar. And it's the one actually I played in Ricky and the Flash too. It's it's been kind of my lucky guitar. Yeah. And I wrote I wrote you know Jesse's Girl on it, but I picked it up and I had a pig nose because I didn't have a real amp, so I plugged it in this little battery operated uh, thing, and uh, I just, I don't know the riff just kind of came out. It was just uh, the opening riff. That so it started was, with the riff. Yeah, it was started with the riff. Which you've been trying to teach people. <laughs> don't give it away. Oh. <laughs> there are people who don't know yet. They don't know those four chords, okay? That's a very complex song. I will leave it to you. Dude, um, just- I just want him to tune in longer, that's all. Yes, just be safe. Just, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. There's, there's it, this, this whole thing is just, I think, I, I feel like, unfortunately, I feel like we're just wading into this unknown part of it that, I hope won't be even worse, but I fear that it would be worse because it took I, I, us I think, I, 
Yeah, I think the you know, I mean, I think the fear of that is is very prevalent. But um, I mean, it is what it is. You know, we're gonna have to just deal with uh, with the way it turns out for sure. Yeah. You know, the one thing that I was thinking that it, everyone's treating everyone really well, and and it's great to see. But like the last time I saw that happen was when you know a bunch of crazy bastards f flew airplanes into the World Trade Center, and you know wow. you. That was when it, suddenly everyone wanted to take care of one another. And I, I'm seeing that a little bit now with this. I just, you know, wish it didn't take a friggin' plague or a catastrophe to, you yeah. know, to have that happen. Yeah. I mean, I include myself in that too. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I feel the same way. I mean, it's one of the reasons, you know, I don't call you all the time. What, what, why? why? You know that I just sit here and wait by the phone. <laughs> I'm like, you know, for years, it's like, I, th I thought we were friends. I thought I was friends with Rich Springfield. I tell people I'm friends with Rich Springfield. But does Rich Springfield ever call? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm not good on the phone. But he, does send me, but he does send me funny texts. What's that? But he does send me funny texts. Yes, and you send them back, believe me. All well, right. My wife is calling me for dinner. All right, go. I, I love you. I love your wife. I love Bindi. You love I love your wife. Son. I love you guys. I love all of you, I love all of yous, and Daisy, my Jersey wife, says she loves all of yous as well. Uh, we love, Daisy love, love you back, and, your and, and dog. kiss that fat little white pillow to your right there. With you? right now. All right, guys. Oh, she doesn't kiss. Doesn't all right, kiss. night. See ya. Bye.